Okay guys, welcome. We are going to start our first Adobe Flash drawing today. And we're going to draw a rocket ship in Flash. So what you're going to need to do is locate Flash on your Mac computer. I'm working on my Dell computer because I couldn't record this lesson without being here. So ignore my Dell as opposed to your Mac. I know it's so much fancier. Anyway, for me, I'm going to come down here to my start menu, all programs to get to Flash. You're going to have to go down to the bottom to the finder, the little smiley face guy, applications, and then Adobe Flash. It should be black and red when you open it up. Also, if you haven't already, you can drag your Adobe Flash icon onto your dock, just like you did with Photoshop, so you have a shortcut for it. So we're going to be using it every single day. Okay, so this is our basic welcome screen for Flash. Over here we have open recent items. So anything you've done previously will be over here. Not all of it, just whatever you've done recently. In this middle portion, it says create new. And these are all the different types of files that we can make in Flash. We are always going to be creating Action Script 3s. So you can go ahead and click on Action Script 3. Okay, this is what a basic screen looks like in Adobe Flash. This big white area is called our stage. This is where all of our drawing and our animating will happen down the road. This portion down here is your timeline. This is where the different layers in your actual animation time will occur. Your properties panel is this big guy right here. And your tools bar is just like it was in Adobe Photoshop. One thing I would like to change though is the layout of your screen. So if you look up here at the far right hand corner, you're going to see a button that says Essentials. If you'll click on that button, there's all these different views that you can set your screen up for. For the sake of matching my screen, will you please change yours from Essentials to Classic? All right. Now with your screen set to Classic, your Tools bar has now been moved over here to where it was when you were in Photoshop. Your Timeline is up top, and your Properties panel is over here on the far right-hand side. You will have a lot of the same tools as you did in Photoshop, so you should recognize a lot of these icons, like the paint bucket and the line tool, text tool, your move icons. Same with your color boxes down here to pick out whatever color you'd like. Also, just like in Photoshop, if you see the little triangle, that means there's a tool hidden inside there. So just because there's one icon doesn't mean there might not be more. Your timeline, if you notice, says layer 1. That means that this is going to be just like our layers palette in Photoshop. We can have multiple layers with multiple drawings on them, and we can organize them just like we did in our layers palette in Photoshop. So imagine this to work the exact same way. You can also hide things by poking that layer in the eye so it disappears. You can also lock them. We will lock lots and lots of our layers so we don't draw in the wrong spot. Down here right below, the very bottom of our timeline you can create new layers, new folders, and you can delete those as well. So just like Photoshop. Our timeline over here will mess with another day, but this is where all of your animation will occur, and these are frames for time. So when we create our animations, they'll actually play. Last but not least, our properties panel. Your properties panel is always going to change. And it's going to be whatever it is you're working on. So right now, if you were to click with your black arrow inside of your white stage, your black arrow is this top tool right here, your move tool or your selection tool, your stage should change. Your properties panel should change, sorry. Your properties panel is all about whatever it is you're working on. So right now our properties panel should probably say Untitled 1 because we haven't titled our document yet. And a little bit farther down, about halfway, you should see a 
a size area. So this is the size of our stage, just like the size of our document. And we're actually going to adjust that. So if you could adjust your size to 800 for the width. And your screen should get a little bit larger, like a panoramic picture. We're going to leave the height alone. It doesn't need to get any bigger. And we're going to be sure and make sure our stage color is white if it isn't already. So now we're getting set up for our actual rocket picture. Our stage is big enough to fit the image. We made it bigger because we made it 800 wide, but we didn't adjust the height. So before we bring in that picture, though, I would like for you to save this document onto your desktop. Now, I know in the past I've had you save into your stuff, but right now we're having some issues with the drives. So if you could do a save as onto your desktop and save it as rocket or rocket ship, whatever you wanted to call it. And you don't have to worry about changing the file type. It's good to go. And you'll see right here that the tab has changed. It says rocket ship. So we know our file has saved. So that is the first portion. The next video will tell you how to import our image of the rocket. And then after that, we'll get started drawing.